Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be doing an updated video of a video that I did basically at the beginning of the game going over the best abilities and also the best chemistries currently in the game. Now I do want to give a shout out to Pixel EX for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Nodi Gang. Now I'm going to be running through basically the abilities that we know for sure work now, the abilities that I have tested out, the abilities that I have personally used, I still use, basically what abilities I have found work best for me. Again, you know, this could be different for you guys depending on what abilities you guys personally run. Maybe something else works better for your scheme. Scheme is a big part of it, right? So I'm gonna go over what abilities I think are good, which are bad, which ones I think are absolutely best, and also chemistries. So let's start off with that first part being chemistries. So as you guys can see over here, when it comes to chemistries, there are three different chems that I currently use. On defense, I run nothing but lockdown. Now you guys might be wondering why do I run nothing but lockdown even on my pass rushing linebackers, even on my defensive line, and it's very, very simple. We all know that this year, pass rush, it's just not that great. This is something that I told you guys beginning of the year. I, I could already tell pass rush was basically, if you don't run abilities to help pass rush, Pass rush isn't crazy. Now, they did just actually bu uh, buff up uh, pass rush a little bit. So if you guys only pass rush like two, three people, whatever, you're still going to get pass rush on plays. It might take a little bit longer, but they did actually buff that up. So in my opinion, I think it is best to run lockdown on players. That way, you get the man coverage, you get the zone coverage, you get the play rack, you get the press, all that good stuff. The catching is whatever. The I mean, defenders drop picks all the time anyways, whatever. That's completely broken. Uh, plus two awareness, plus two stamina, plus four tackling, whatever on those. Maybe the tackling's a little bit important, but awareness, stamina, whatever on that. However, the man in zone is very, very important because at this point in the game, okay, man in zone is super important because a lot of players can either get up to a very, very high zone coverage with maxed out lockdown, like my Micah Hyde, you guys can see, has got 99 zone and 94 man, right? 99 zone, we'll be able to get that with that lockdown, and he plays incredible. But we already know that the man coverage and the zone coverage threshold are 90, so that helps a lot of players like my Byron Jones. You guys can see he is just at the 90 man coverage threshold, and that helps with a lot of players get to that 90, because that's what you really, really need, is 90 man and 90 zone. After that, not like he huge difference in between that now yes that's not really going to help players like lawrence taylor ricky jackson my d lineman who are going to be pass rushing the entire time but it's worth it because pass rush isn't really anything too crazy anyways so i'd rather get the man and zone boost to everybody on the team my linebackers that are going to be in coverage whenever they do play uh, and then of course all my dbs i think it's definitely worth it to rock nothing but lockdown and i will say this of course once the year starts going on, right, you'll notice that some of my players have got like lockdown times two, lockdown times three because they're higher overall players. As we start to get those higher overall players where I can put lockdown times three on like every starting DB and then only have to throw in on a couple like backups or whatever to have it up to max, then I'll probably run pass rush on everybody else. But for now, I want to get locked down completely maxed out. That is it for defense, but you guys can see I actually rock two different chems currently on offense. I'll start with zone run first because this one's pretty obvious. I run this one on all of my starting offensive linemen, all my running backs and my fullbacks because I think it's important that you do get this up, right? Because you get plus two carry, I get plus two juke move, plus one run block, plus two to spin move, plus one to lead block, and you see you get a bunch of stuff when it comes to run blocking, spin, all that stuff. Now, I know some people actually don't care about running, uh, even one when it comes to running. I know a lot of people that just run one offense chemistry and then one defense of chemistry as well which you can definitely do uh if you're like a mainly passer or whatever but i kind of keep a balance right so i like to go with the zone run and also play fake now another reason why i'm not necessarily worried about maxing out play fake and the reason why i've actually switched from go deep to play fake already is because of the way that the game is played so if you guys don't know this, kind of similar to how zone coverage and man coverage are 90 for the thresholds. When it comes to route running, you want 90 for everything. 
on receiver. So you want 90 short, 90 medium, and 90 deep. More so medium and deep because those are like most of your essential routes unless you're running like maybe some slants depending on when you throw it, uh, drag, stuff like that. That stuff's going to be short routes, right? But most of my routes are medium and deep routes. So you really, really need that to get that separation. With play fake, you also get throw power, which you also got with go deep, but you get medium route running and short route running once you get it actually completely maxed out and totally get plus four. Currently, I have it up to tier seven where I get three for both of those. Now, that is key for certain players like Chase Claypool. You guys can see he has 91 short, 90 medium, and 90 deep. And that is thanks to Playfake because he has base 90 DD Brown Ring. And that's really what has changed this year so far from the beginning of the year was, okay, you need to have those uh, deep route running thresholds because of players like Tyree Kill here, right? He has 88 deep route running. You need to go deep on him to get that up. Same thing with like Mark Clayton when they were in the game. Well, now it's more so a lot of players are getting put into the game with base 90 deep route running and more so you want to get the medium and you want to get the short steve smith here would not have 92 medium route running uh, if i didn't use play fix so this helps my team tremendously to go ahead and get those up now as for someone like amari cooper for me he's not able to get over 90 deep route running but i will get into that when it comes to the abilities part of things but I think 100%, because of the way the game is being played right now, with how many wide receivers already have base 90 deep route running, play fake is 100% the move. Again, this could change depending on your team. Maybe you will have a bunch of players that have the short and medium thresholds, but don't have the deep. Then you want to go deep. And also when it comes to like tight ends, now Darren Waller is an exception here because he's just such a beast. Uh, he already has the medium and also the short route running without having me to use play fake on him, but it just helps him because now he has 96 short, 93 medium. So... I think play fake is definitely better. And same when it comes to quarterbacks as well, because it's also going to help their short and their medium threshold. You guys can see he has got 89, 89, and 90. It is 80, 85, and 90 when it comes to the threshold. So with Randall Cunningham, he already has it without any of the abilities, but let's say that you haven't powered up here. He's already over the 90 deep threshold. There's going to be more quarterbacks coming out that are over 80 short, 85 medium, and 90 deep. So really, you want to use like play fake, go deep, whatever, to get your wide receivers over the routes because quarterbacks are pretty much all going to be taken care of uh, in a little bit here. They'll all start coming out with at least 80, 85, 90. So that's my talk when it comes to chemistries. Also, in case you guys want about like speed chems, I personally run Sprinter. I think it's worth it to get that extra speed and lose the change of direction agility. And again, once we get later on in the year, I'll probably change that to something where, you know, if we have players come out with 98 speed or 97 powered to 98, then you add the plus one with Sprinter they get to 99, then you won't necessarily need that to get them to 99 speed. I'll change it. But now let's talk about abilities now that I'm done with chemistry. So where should you be using abilities? What abilities are the best to you? So let's do a quick rundown of the abilities that I am currently using on the offensive side of the ball. And let me just start off by saying this, guys. This is how I personally run my team, but I do want to mention, of course, things can be different for your scheme. So personally for me, what I like to use for my X Factor is I actually like to go ahead and use Omaha now. I used to be a bazooka guy, but... I really feel like Omaha is better, shows defense coverage on DBs. When it comes to my X-Factors, I like to run an X-Factor on my quarterback, which is usually Omaha. I like to use Freight Train on running backs because that is the best one for running backs for sure. And when it comes to wide receivers, I like to use Double Me. I'm going to be honest, I rarely ever get Double Me or Freight Train activated. I just don't really target one specific person or really run for five, 10 plus yard runs that much, but it's just how it works. When it comes to my abilities on Randall Cunningham, you guys can see I'm using Quick Draw. Now, I'm going to let you guys know right now the best abilities in the game currently for a quarterback that I have found are Escape Artist. Currently at this time in the game, Escape Artist is pretty needed when it comes to even scrambling quarterbacks like Randall Cunningham and Vic because now we have some really, really fast outside linebackers in the game. Ricky Jackson, Lawrence Taylor, I've noticed recently... I really can't scramble much with Randall Cunningham. I can escape for a second and throw it away, but when it comes to like scrambling away from a uh, outside linebacker and picking up a first down or something, that doesn't happen anymore for me without escape artist. In terms of the other good abilities, though, you guys saw I like to run quick draw. It gives you faster throwing animations when under pressure. Now, this is only one AP, so for an improviser quarterback, this to me is absolutely perfect. Dashing dead eye. It's okay. Roaming Deadeye is better, as you guys know. Maybe you don't know. There's kind of a glitch been going on Roaming Deadeye for like the past year. If you scramble outside the pocket, release right trigger right before you throw the ball, and it will actually give you the Roaming Deadeye like 
perfect pass accuracy, even if you're still on the move. That is key. But aside from just like quick draw, escape artist, and of course, roaming dead, if you want to run that, I don't really care for roaming dead eye. The absolute best ones, gunslinger, so, so good. If you guys have Brett Favre or someone, and you can only have enough to go ahead and use one AP on a quarterback, I believe gunslinger is one AP for strong arms, use gunslinger. It's ridiculous. Faster throwing animations and velocity on bullet passes. Use that. Obviously, we know Hot Route Master is really, really good as well. If there was ever like a combo that I would love to have on a player, and eventually we'll get there, it'd be Gunslinger and Hot Route Master. You get those extra hot routes. It lets you save on using, say, tight end apprentice or wide receiver apprentice, outside apprentice. It is big. Now, unfortunately, it looks like here, I can't even show you guys when it comes to Cunningham, but set feet elite i want to say is the name of it is also really good it's actually broken on some quarterbacks though uh, i think on uh, Derek carr it's like currently not working so some people are saying it's just broken on a lot of players it's only working on specific players i want to really mess around with it right now because we don't know if it's actually working currently but we know for a fact gunslinger works and it's really good and also how Ride master really really good now, as I said, guys, I really don't feel like you need to be using abilities on running backs because you just don't need to with the abilities there are, except for the X Factor, Freight Train is good. When it comes to, like these abilities, though, the only ability that I think right now you should be using if you want to is Backfield Master. It's really good on Reggie Bush. I think it's 1 AP because he's a receiving back. Gives you more hot routes. It doesn't really matter about the improved catch, whatever. It's more about the hot routes that you get. If you can fit it into your scheme, super good. But it's 2 AP right now on Barry. I'm not that interested. And when it comes to wide receivers, there's only a select few abilities I actually care about. And that would be Slot Apprentice and Route Technician. As I said, guys, my Amari Cooper, you guys will see right here, he's got 95 short, 93 medium, but doesn't have 90 deep route running, right? So how do you fix that? Well, you use Route Technician. Route Technician, basically, it gives any wide receiver who doesn't have 90 route running for their thresholds, gives them 90 for those, right? So that's good. That's obviously really good. But like players that already have 90 medium route running or deep route running and short, they're like all three. No need for route technician at all. Now, Slot Apprentice is one that I think is really essential. I think Slot Apprentice is really, really good because it gives you corner routes, post routes, corner routes, all or uh, crosser routes, all those out of the slot. That is really big. I think that is the best one, in my opinion, in terms of like outside apprentice, slot apprentice, whatever. Yeah. I would go with Slot Apprentice. You could use Outside Apprentice if you want to use that on your team as well. These like mid out, mid in elites, like all this stuff, whatever. I don't really care for them. I don't like to be limited to doing one thing. That's why I like Route Technician and Slot Apprentice, really. That's it when it comes to wide receivers. These other ones, like Grab and Go, yeah, that's cool. Uh, wide Receiver Apprentice, Fordish, and Hot Rats, and New Wide Receiver Position, that's pretty cool. But for me, Right now, Slot Apprentice is definitely the best one. But when Wide Receiver Apprentice comes out, if you mix someone around, you put him in the slot from the outside, whatever, that'd be good. And obviously, when it comes to what is a very, very essential, in my opinion, ability is Tight End Apprentice. You need Tight End Apprentice, but you also need a 90 medium route running, which again is very, very essential with Tight End Apprentice because you get the crossers, you get the corners. You're going to need 90 medium route running. So get you a tight end that has it. Jermichael Finley can get to 90 medium route running. Uh, Darren Waller, 90 medium route running. There's some others, I believe, as well. If you use the right stuff, you need 90 medium route running to really take advantage of tight end apprentice. But it's super, super big. Aside from that in tight ends, I don't care about really any of these. And when it comes to offensive linemen, there are two abilities that I actually use in my own linemen and one ability that is essential for any team. Edge protector, put them on both of your tackles. 100%, you need these abilities. Put edge protector on your left tackle and your right tackle. That's how you don't get beat like a drum by Lawrence Taylor and Ricky Jackson 10 times a game. Put that ability on. Now, as for the second ability, though, that I've actually been using, I play a lot of weekend league, and when I do, I face 3-3-5 a lot, which means there's only three down pass rushers, which means, as well, I'm getting two double teams, usually, right? I put post up on dominant when engaged in double team blocks. Now, this is one that I've personally been testing out. I don't know if this is necessarily a need, but I had some extra AP here. I decided to throw it on and I think it's been working well. Now, this also works. I've seen it light up in the run game. So I think it works in pass and also running, which is really, really good. It helps a lot when you get doubles on the defensive lineman. I think that's pretty key. Now, in my opinion, what are the most essential 
absolutely you must have these abilities on offense edge protector on both your tackles and Titan Apprentice. After that, it really comes down to your scheme, but I just told you guys the abilities that I think work well, the abilities that work well for me. And defensively, this is honestly going to be pretty simple. So you guys can see when it comes to my defense, I run Acrobat on all of my DBs, except for Taylor Mays, because he actually runs middle linebacker. Jamal Adams, he also is my middle linebacker, but I do have Acrobat on him there, but it's actually not activated. Activated is Derwin James. So I run five DBs out there, Micah Hyde, Derwin James, DRC, Byron Jones, and Dion. They all play defensive backs. Taylor Mays and also Jamal Adams play middle linebacker. I don't put abilities on them, but I do use Acrobat on all of my DBs. Now, of course, you could still use Bench Press, but it's 3 AP. I don't think it's worth using it. I know people, uh, quite a few people, still run just regular Bench Press on three defensive backs, and that's just how they like it because it is, you know, it's, it's pretty good still, but they nerfed it a little bit. They made it 3 AP. If you're going to put any on defensive backs, I like Acrobat the best. Uh, also, one step ahead is really, really good as well. If you're going to go down in corners, one step ahead is really good. But for me, Acrobat being 1 AP, you get diamond spots and interceptions, it helps me a ton. I have it on five players. And in my opinion, the absolute best, without a doubt, best pass rushing ability is edge threat i personally run edge threat you get dominant pass moves from the edge on one player and that is ricky jackson i use it on my fastest player on the edges which is ricky because obviously if i use it on him he's my fast player if he beats the guy there he's the fastest he's going to get to the quarterback the fastest so it only makes sense to use it on ricky jackson now i've seen el toro work as well but you kind of have to use her on him for that and i've seen a lot of people recently talking about uh double or nothing which i don't there it is uh double or nothing right here I don't care for it. I tried it out uh, a little bit, but I've seen it work for a lot of people. Hasn't really worked out for me personally, but I like edge threat, acrobat on all of my DBs, and finally one inside stuff. And that is going to be on, not on Deion Sanders, my one inside stuff is actually on Reggie White. Those are the abilities that I currently use on defense. Now I will say this, I think that inside stuff works pretty well. There are some plays though where it activates and I don't actually see it work. So you could get rid of inside stuff here and use it on something else. Maybe you wanna use it on whatever, I guess. If you wanna like take off an acrobat on someone, throw on one step ahead if you run a lot of man coverage. But for me, I've enjoyed inside stuff. Now I will say the one thing that I might actually do here just to test something out for the rest of this weekend league, I may take inside stuff off of Reggie White and try double or nothing on him and also Deacon Jones just to get a little bit more testing in with that. But those are the abilities that I think are good for offense and also for defense and of course on special teams. You want to go with focus kicker on Morton Anderson. You absolutely need that one. Uh, and you can always use a two AP, I believe it is for special teams. Yeah, two AP for special teams. So you can fit that in as well. But those are the abilities that I run. Also, I do use unstoppable force my x factor for my one pass rusher with edge threats and then i just throw universal coverage on two of my dbs Dion and micah hyde they tend to make the most plays for me so they tend to get it activated and micah hyde has got 99 zone really, really good so with that being said guys that is my updated video for the best chemistries the best abilities to use i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure to drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below i'll see you guys next time